How you guys? It's been forever. Where y'all been? I've been here the whole time. What's been going on? Today's a special day and what forced me to start actually recording because one, I am getting a new car. I feel extremely blessed and extremely just, I'm so grateful to be in a position to get this. And if you could see, probably in the title, I don't know, you might see, you might not. I am getting a Tesla. That's wild. Today's pickup day, I can explain at some point in the video, but my process has been leading up to this point. But one thing I can say is I probably ordered my car maybe like two and a half weeks ago something like that i don't feel like doing math it's extremely extremely early in the morning it's like four it's almost four in the morning and this is not odd because um i go to work this morning i am getting ready for work this morning i need to be there at five my pickup time for the car is around 12.30. So I am going to work at five to leave around nine, nine thirty to come back home, get prepared, blah, 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 and pick up the car. I am trading in my 2017 hybrid energy, which uh, fusion, which Tesla has agreed to make an offer for that um really really couldn't refuse hopefully i remember at some point in this video if not i'll just put the title up too and i gotta go to work so there's a lot of things to do i'm running in low on time because i have to help out a friend take their dog out so i'm hoping that i don't be so basic once i actually pick up the car because i feel like i'm trying to be super cute but the way the time is timing i feel so old for that you might get this. I'm slowing it down. So clearly, it is a little bit later. I'm sweaty, I'm oily, I'm just nasty. And I can tell you right now, I'm not gonna have time to be cute. I'm only gonna have time to wash my face, change my clothes, clean out my car and go because it's already 11 o'clock it's 11 o'clock I still am on my way home I already got text messages from Tesla saying that <laughs> sorry I paused because it's something about people who have a Tesla and they be like Tesla this Tesla that they don't say car they say Tesla I'm trying not to be one of their people but you know but they hit me up saying that my car is actually ready. They already gave me a spot. They already tell me what to do since I'm trading in this car. They already like told me the whole nine, which I'm actually surprised because I heard that they don't have good communication. But I got my VIN fast, maybe like within a week of like ordering. I think within like three days, I got my VIN. I got everything. I'm so excited because I got my VIN. I'm just now getting excited. The crazy part is I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. Tesla isn't even my favorite car or necessarily my dream car. But I'm excited because one, I'm incredibly blessed to be able to get one. And two, because I understand the significance of being able to have one in that in that regard i am excited but i honestly wanted the bmw i4 but that one's more expensive than this one so it just made more sense to go with the cheaper option so it's not like i'm settling like no one settles for tesla i just know that it's a big deal to have one and to be in position to be able to afford one is incredibly great. If y'all want to hear, which I might still tell y'all anyway, how much it's gonna, 
like how much it's gonna cost me what my payments look like how I justify the price and all that stuff I'll probably be able to tell y'all that later catch it catch it hey Woo. yeah it's been a while it's been a long time uh, we're driving Where are we going? To pick up so, so, so cringy. Apparently, this is our last ride in the Fusion. But now it's time for an upgrade. Yes. So, we are uh, tired of paying for gas, so we're gonna go the other route. Yeah. And we're gonna go all electric. So we're on our way to our appointment right now because they said the car is ready. Child, they said it was ready at 10 o'clock. And we're gonna see how this process goes. If it goes smooth, if we're, you know, in and out, or if it's gonna take hours. But hopefully it won't because we already did most most of everything, so. It's not, I hope we not. 30 minutes late. I want y'all to know. You ain't gotta tell them all that. We late. ain't gotta tell them all that. Well, I need them to know because <laughs> what if they late? Well, they Tesla pickup. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna show y'all, but they bought about 30 different accessories for this car. It's wild. <laughs> I don't even remember everything. I still got two more coming today. And... Oh, we are here. We're here. Oh my gosh. All right. You see the car? Do you see? Oh, that looked like one right there. You said we were spot 18, right? Spot 18. Mm. And I know that's the delivery building right there. Hmm. Where do you see spot numbers? Oh, it's over here. Where do we That's park at? Waiter? What is waiter check in? No parking in the numbered spots. So my car over here? Do you see 18 on the ground? Oh, there's 13, 14. Yeah, it's right there. 18. White on white. We right in the middle. Oh, they got a Y. I was like, why did it look so much bigger? Oh, look, look at them white seats. Look at the white seats. Looking seat. clean. Yeah, we got that Model 3 right there. See what's going on. We gotta also cross-check the VIN, make sure it says everything it's supposed to say. All right, all right, get out of the way, people. We trying to park. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not nervous, but I'm nervous. I'm not really I'm nervous. I'm not nervous, no. but it's like, I'm anxious. I'm just wondering how long this is gonna take. I don't think anything's gonna go wrong, but. But I can tell y'all, this is the most smoothest car buying process you will have. It will make you want a Tesla just because of how not, not stressful it is. It's not gonna be the same feeling as going to a normal dealership where you get a bunch of attention. Right, so. but it's not stressful. It's not stressful. It, it just feels like, dang, I don't put all this <laughs> money up and you like don't give me no attention. Yeah. But that's really the only thing. But like, you know how you go to a car dealership, you there for like 10 hours and yeah. then you get in. Like this, you literally do everything on your phone while you're watching TV and having conversations, nobody in your face. Like, it's chill. So we're about to go in and it looks like it's gonna rain any time now, but let's hope that that stays away. Right. So, so we will. I was going to sit here and pretend like this was like along the same time period, but it's not. It's actually like a week or so later from that last clip. My phone died and my camera died. It would wait until like I'm already back. I guess that's why it happened because I've been gone for six months if you are new. So this would be how my first video is back but you know we're just gonna just keep it pushing so it has been like a week and a half since i actually had the car what ended up happening was we did inspect the car everything looked great 
Uh, we did have a trade-in, so what ended up happening was we did spend roughly like an hour there. They did not look at the car, <clears throat> but they did all the transfer paperwork. They did take the tag off and put it on to my new car. It was pretty straightforward. I think uh, it went even an hour only because uh, I guess there was some documentation on their end that they didn't print so they had to get that squared away. Update on how I feel about the car. I really love it. I'm actually really surprised that I love the car because prior to getting the Tesla, surprisingly I wasn't one of those people that was amped to get it. Me and David last night actually watched the movie in it and that went great. So we watched that low key series. Yes, we are late on that but yeah. I'm still doing some learning. I have been extremely, extremely busy. So this is not gonna be like one of those delivery day type of videos where it's just gonna be all like smooth and this is how it goes. Like, I'm just kinda all over the place. If you don't know, I am, I got, excuse me. I am a trucker and my schedule is like pretty busy and hectic even though I am currently local right now. Uh, so I just kinda gotta get in where I fit in. So, I just got extremely blessed to be able to get a Tesla. I never in my life thought I would even be able to get a Tesla. And the fact that I am, I feel extremely grateful. But there are a couple of things that I put in the car already. And that is one, I will, if you want, link some stuff. Just let me know because there's a lot of it. So, mm. um, the first thing that I did that most Tesla people get is this little usb thing to be honest i'm not sure if i'm gonna really be utilizing this much although it's something i did realize in the tesla that they don't have these usb plug-ins so i might want to just keep it just because this is my only opportunity to have usb and i also got this little thing now this is a magnetic um phone holder that is on my stand wheel and I do like having this here in the middle of my stand because for one at night it gets super 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 dark in here. The only light you get is really from here. A little bit from underneath the car well but not really. So having this here in front of me and I can have my phone stationed here is really helpful. But one word of advice I would say be very careful. Like I know you're not supposed to do it but people do it anyway like me playing videos right there i would tread lightly because between the big screen and having your phone here um it, it is very distracting so i would just tread lightly on you know doing that but that's just a little pro tip oh also i got these little coaster tesla coaster like they're kind of dirty so don't judge too much but they look like this you turn them on and it lights up your drink area. So I guess um, I could show you what that looked like. But the only downside to this, I noticed, I think you uh, just, I don't know, take a look at it. That's what it looks like inside of my cup holder. That's the first time I got the colors to change at the same time. So I was about to say downside, but I guess I got it good for the camera. This is going to be a little bit of an unboxing as well. But the biggest thing is I can't wait to get one of my car mats in here and two of my screen protectors. So let's just go ahead and start grabbing a bunch of boxes and start opening them. Got got Because at this point, I don't even know what I have because I just ordered so much crap. I also got my studio remote. I don't even think they do studio no more. While I'm unboxing Pro Tip, as you can see, I got my wall charger or whatever. And the model I have is Tesla Model 3, if you don't know, standard range. It's not the long range. The long range has the little red in the wheel. And I got the wall charger, which I found out was stupid because um, <clears throat> The standard range doesn't get more than 32 kilowatt. The wall charger is meant to do 42, but the standard range can't even get above 32. So I paid so much money, $1,500 to be exact, for the wall charger and the installation to find out I should have just got the NEMA charger in the mobile connector. But on the flip side of that, I did get the mobile connector when I purchased the car, but it never showed up. It said it was delivered, 
it didn't get delivered. So I guess in a way it was kind of a blessing that I did that, but it sucks because now I'm in a battle with UPS trying to get my money back for the mobile connector that I never got. So just out here wasting money. Oh, so I got this. This is the Traps. And this is actually a sticker, vinyl sticker, I think, that you put on your steering wheel. So it is meant to make your steering wheel look more sporty. I'm very curious on how I'm gonna feel about this because this was one of the things that was like, I really liked, but now that I have the car, it's like, mm, do I wanna tamper with it? I don't know, but I got it, so let's do it. Don't look at my 80 year old hands, okay? Judge yourself, not me. Oh God, look, I'm already about to mess it up. Oh Lord, okay. Okay, use the light as my arrow. Okay, I got that one, perfect. Okay, let's get this one right. Wait, what is that, bitch? I am dumb, hold on, it must go like that. All right, what y'all think about that? And this is how it looks. I suppose it looks cool. Hey, guess who's here? Hey, y'all. Uh, it's babe. Um, the kids are down and everything like that, so I told them to come and help me unbox some of the stuff since it's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> but you see it so far? What am I looking at so far? The change. I see the cup holders. Those has been in there. Oh, the stairs <laughs> wheel. <laughs> What do you think about it? <laughs> it looks nice. Yes, sir. You confident as the. Oh, Loki dad. Mm mm. Alright, so I don't know what this is, but let's see. And I brought her a uh, box cutter so she can actually open these things properly. Yeah, I never open up properly these jobs. I have to be all masculine and everything. So this is a bunch of stuff in the box. I don't even know. It's been. I got this stuff before I even got the car, so these are the tray organizer that goes into the thing. Is this the top one or the bottom one? There's no instructions. And this gaping hole here is the one I was talking about. And then you push it back and it's hidden right here. Uh oh. Listen. I forgot. <laughs> Okay, what this is. Oh, this is a stereo covers. Ooh, that's really gonna look like a race car. I know. <laughs> I'm guessing it goes this way. Or does it go that way? It's gotta go a specific way because of how that thing is. I'm guessing this way. <laughs> Is that on its, you sure that's on the, on there right? Mm -hmm. I feel like it. Okay. Ooh, I forgot I got this. It's nice. I like that kind of vibe. Race car vibe, I guess. I guess that's what it's going for now. Box cutter. You about to do it again. Hey, I forget. You don't want no thumbs. <laughs> I got years of experience. Ugh. This is the most exciting thing. Food tree. No. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the screen protector. Uh, I'm excited about this. I've been waiting on this. It says, I wanted to make sure that I got the matte version because that has the anti-glare and anti-fingerprints, which is what I want. So I know that you're supposed to put on the cleaning screen when you do this, so let's start there. Hmm, where is it? We're still learning, guys. Don't judge. Okay, let's go to display. That feels right. Okay, screen clean mode. Bomb. There we go. Oh, I couldn't wait to do this. Yeah, get that out of here. Nobody wants that. Mm -hmm. Get the sun. 16. 17. Oh Lord Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. 
It better be on there. What is this? Oh, uh, we made it. I don't know. We all messed up. Oh, that's just another color. Okay, maybe we don't have to clean it because that's just plastic. Okay. There's a bubble. Jeez. Oh, man. Where use is this? Use this, use this. Yeah. There was just one we kept trying to like pick it up, take it down, pick it up, take it down. And no matter what we did, it did not work. If you have any tips for it, let me know. Next thing. Oh, oh that's nice. Huh? Yeah. This is that cover for the swimming council. So this is supposed to cover this some kind of way. This is supposed to be the cover for this. So I'm just gonna slide it on because there's no instructions. I already hit my face, I already got makeup on it. Mm, that's fly. But with the steering wheel cover and that cover, it just looks fly. The next thing I have is this, which I'm kind of excited about. This is a larger review mirror because if you do not know what the Tesla Model 3, or I think all of them really, the rear view mirror is very tiny. It's supposed to just clip on. So this is what the rear view mirror looks like. I just cleaned it, but yeah, it's pretty small in relation to my hand. I think it's the smallest rear view mirror I have ever seen in a car. Mm -hmm. so. They just made a clear rectangle. They didn't even like shape it up. Okay. Boy, I can see life. Yeah, you can see everything with this uh, thing. This thing is big. Uh, can you see the back seat? I can see everything. It's actually amazing. But I don't know because also my eyes hurt. Let me see. Let me show y'all <clears throat> what my view is. So you see how, yeah. I can see literally everything. I think mm. we've opened four, four items so far. What is this? Since I've been in the car. Shadow light. Oh, this is the... Uh, the door light, no, that puts Tesla on the floor. Oh, you trying to be fancy, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm do this, but I'm gonna wait towards the end. Got this right here. This is, I don't know. It's made in China, that's for sure. For sure. <laughs> this is the Tesla trash can. You got a Tesla trash can? And what happens is you put it behind your seat and you put a garbage bag in here and there's a little LED light. There's an LED light? You see it? Dang. And this is magnetic. So it's looks like this. So it comes with little trash bags. Little trash bags. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. Put some in there. Yeah. Next thing. It's just simpler. Um, clean car, the seats. Clean the seats and stuff like that. This is popular between Tesla people. I don't know why, but it is. That's the one that's gonna take forever to install. Yeah, this one is up. It's gonna take probably like two hours, maybe three. This is a light kit. I would have to. Sh God, look at almost took my eyeball out. <laughs> <laughs> that's not funny. I have to show y'all a picture. Oh, what this is supposed to look like but this is basically an interior light kit this is what i've been most anticipating on doing this is the tesla oh this is nice actually these are oh this is slick i ain't gonna even hold you this is actually the tesla key if you don't know the key to the tesla is actually a card this is the key to the car so i wanted to get a key holder for it i need to clean my car because now my car dirty making this ugly but this is the key. This is a car registration folder. I don't know if you can even see it, but it says Tesla right here. It's just white. And this is just the registration pamphlet to put all your stuff in. It's probably blown out. Let me see if I can. Oh, you can kind of see it now. Eating tray. This is supposed to be one of those situations. And I do eat in my car. I'm just curious how this is gonna go with this new steering wheel cover thing. Oh, uh, well, it don't feel like it's going anywhere. I do have a couple more things, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and try to put in that Tesla light. 
and see how that goes. Now I'm just gonna work it out. I don't believe that it should be anything to it, so. Now if I can't do this, I'm gonna be scared to like it. Okay, bet, bet. This should just pop off. This is why YouTube is important. The clasp, locking. There's the clasp. Here, maybe it's a little better angle of the cable. Yeah. The cable has a wire, obviously positive and negative 12 volt, and a little clasp. You push the clasp down and pull the wire. Okay. Yeah, I finally figured it out. I have to use this little screwdriver with it to like kind of hold this little piece because it's like a tiny, tiny piece inside this thing. And then I need to hold this down and then put it back up. But as you can see, can you see it? You see it on my hand? Yeah. So, should be able to just pop into place like that. And there we go on my dirty floor. Finally got those lights in and I like them. I have this rotating, I can't show you the front cause my address is on the front. But this is ultimately uh, a screen pivot tilt type of thing. It makes it to where I can basically move the screen around. The next thing that I got is these floor mats. Now my floor is dirty. So I actually gotta clean that up first in order to put the mats down. The floor mats that I got is by Last Fit. These were the ones that I thought seemed to look the best. So I was like, let's go with this one. So this is what the inside of it looks like. It looks so good. So this looks like the driver's seats to me. A mat that y'all probably can't even see. And this goes under here. 